Hi everyone, welcome to the Metal Crafter. It's been several months since my last video and I wanted to give you an update on the channel. First of all, the channel is alive and I'll be posting a new video soon. Back in mid-August, there was an important annual convention in Night City related to comic books, TV shows, uh, movies, RPGs, you name it. It's called Crack Bang Boom, it was its 12th edition, and I thought it was the perfect place where to show my crafts and advertise the channel. I've been wanting to do this since last year, but I didn't make it on time back then. As part of the stand, I wanted to sell some 3D printed minis, so it took me quite a few weeks before the event to prepare for it. I also had some unfinished details on some dioramas I had to complete on that. The event went super well, it was a great experience I'll be joining in future editions. Met a lot of friendly people from around Argentina, could share ideas and techniques and even got to solve some of my dioramas. Also got many new people joining the channel and the other social media groups. Then by the end of August I took a pretty long vacation to Europe with my family, which we've been planning for quite a while just came back from it and I got to buy different materials and crafting tools which either cannot be found where I live or are rather expensive. This is some of the stuff I got. From Green Stuff World, bought some resin rollers great for making textures. A general brick wall useful for both fantasy and post-apocalyptic scenes. And a factory pattern great for sci-fi. Also from Green Stuff World, several silicone molds for rivets, industrial pipes, circuits, grits and fans. I wanted to improve my paint set a bit, so got different colors of Vallejo paints, especially metallic colors. I also wanted to try the famous Agrax Earthshade, which I know people use a lot. I don't know much about it, to be honest. So I'll try it with different colors and see how it works. I also got a pretty decent price for this basic paints and tool set, so went with it. I thought it came with a mini, but the front of the box was pretty clear on what was included. Back to Green Stuff World materials, I got some decals, I don't know if that's pronounced correctly, decal sheets with regular and Roman numbers pretty useful for miniatures or silk. Then got some plastic sheets with a metallic plate pattern, which is going to be handy in sci-fi pieces. And finally, got some plastic car sheets, which are useful for making doors or panels details. So, I've been pretty busy for the last couple of months, but I'll start editing the new video soon. It's gonna be Fallout 3's Waste Disposal Play. So stay tuned and turn on notifications not to miss it. I'll see you in the next craft.